gums. I found the tree hose. Hi, I'm Christina from Herrick's to Coasters. I have told you time and time again, you're not going to paint the baby pink. Gonna drive the Jeep. Gonna drive it down the road. See where we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> On the next episode of Alone, Family Challenge. Hi, Mr. Ping. Who is this little bundle of joy? Someone is awake. It's still really early, so shh, Teddy, honey, it's quiet hours. Headed to the potty, but I keep trying to remind him that it is still quiet hours and not everybody is up. Keep going, honey. Yeah, I just checked the time, it's 5.30, sunrise here. Was it 5.12 a.m.? So much different than Florida. We're headed in. These, these bathrooms are flush. They do have electricity. There's also water spigots to get your water. There's also dumpsters around to unload your trash. There's also a utility sink in most of these. I'll take a quick peek at that before I take Teddy in. Nice little utility sink. <laughs> when I worked here, I hated cleaning them, but it is a nice utility sink. Yeah. Yeah. It is a thing. Yeah. nobody in here so I can give you a quick look quick tour as you can see good stalls some of the some of the bathrooms are older and some are newer I'll be right in honey four sinks there is nice mirror hi a lot of people charge their devices here all right I'm coming came back from the potty and someone had to get in the hammock so I decided to at least stick his sleeping bag in there to kind of give him a feel of what it's like to hammock camp Various ways to do it. You could have a pad, you could have an underquilt, rain fly up over, many different ways to set up. I, I'm, I'm excited he likes this so much. He could have a learn to sleep in it. I'd much rather hammock camp in environments where you can. Sometimes you can't, but when you can, I'm telling you, it's the bomb, huh, Teddy? Yeah. Yeah. I sleep in a hammock tomorrow night. <laughs> I live in a hammock. We could hang one up at Grandma and Grandpa's and give it a test run. See how you do. At least then if you didn't do too good, we could just go in Grandma and Grandpa's house. So he hung out in a hammock for a while. I picked up the tent. Then he decided he was hungry. So he's had a cup of mandarin oranges. And now he's having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I, and you're about to have cheesy poofs. I was really wanting to have coffee this morning and I forgot I still don't have a coffee mug. So I definitely, that is like one of the first things on today's list when we get out as far as Ellsworth is find a coffee travel mug that I can use. I was so excited to fire up my fire maple and make coffee, but alas, nothing no vessel to put said coffee in. So anyway, I'm just letting the fly of the tent dry a little bit and realizing as I film this that I packed up the tent and didn't pack up the fly. So no big deal. I can roll that up and stick that in the bag real easy. Have you guys ever done anything like that? Like picking up equipment and you set like a piece to the side and then realize, huh, <laughs> forgot about that piece. Then I'm going to have a few snacks, I guess, and do some more rearranging in the van and we're going to head out. I don't know what we're doing. Our plans were to leave here 
and go further down east all the way into Washington County and go to Cobscook Bay State Park. But when I woke up this morning to make the reservation, Maine State Park Reservation System doesn't let you book day of. So I think weather also looks kind of iffy. So I think we might just enjoy the day either here and then here and then Ellsworth and then maybe go back to my parents' house tonight. Maybe go out for another adventure next week or the week after. But uh, keep keep following along. I never really did do the official opener because I was filming Teddy sleeping and stuff. But join us. See what we find to do today. Now we are at Seawall. This is another piece of Acadia National Park here on MDI. Yeah. Mark grew up not very far away from here. Teddy's going to try to find his way down to the rocks. We're at the day use area of Seawall. There's also a campground across the street. I would love to camp there before I go back to Florida. But like I had mentioned in my uh, video yesterday, Availability is quite tight and they don't let you do walk up anymore here at Acadia. You have to have a reservation and getting same day reservation is difficult. Getting any reservations in July and usually August is difficult. But I do see some availability cropping up in August. So I may have Teddy back here before we go back to Florida or wherever we're going to next. He made it down. Good job. Good job. He does love playing on the rocks and the coast and stuff. So, I, oh, good catch. We got snacks at Gots. I was hoping for blueberry cake. Sadly, there was none. And Teddy wanted a whoopie pie. And out of all the whoopie pie choices they had, he had to have this pink one. <laughs> he insisted on having this pink one. So. And then he, wanted, he found one of his juices. Oh, that was a big splash. I'm going to have a breakfast sandwich because I need something with a little protein this morning, I think. So it's a sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich and a Diet Mountain Dew. I would love to have a Moxie, but you can't usually find Diet Moxies in the stores. But I think I am going to get a, can, a case of Diet Moxie cans from Walmart today to take back to my parents' house to enjoy. Because like Maine's the only place I could ever find Diet Moxie. So that's exciting. So I'm going to have a little snack. We had some snacks at the site before we left. Peanut butter jelly sandwiches and stuff as you saw, but he'll play for a while and then we'll probably share that whoopie pie. That's a big one, boo! Keep finding rocks to throw! Yay! I didn't catch the bite. I caught a picture, but I didn't catch pity. It was video. It was good. Chef's kiss for that. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. Let me open your drink too. He says it's good. Is it strawberry, Teddy? I took a bite. It is strawberry. It's actually tasty. And it's good because the cake part of it is nice and um, moist, but it doesn't crumble in your hand. It's the texture on this is beautiful. The frosting is beautiful. Uh, um, highly approve. Oh, we're back for more. I will, I will you highly approve too, don't you? must be coming back for another bite. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> bite of whoopie pie and he's off again. He does this at home, too. I think that's how he stays so skinny. I, that's the Teddy diet plan, folks. You eat while you move. Just constantly move while you take bites of food. And never put on a pound. Okay, go. Oh, 
Wow! <laughs> Celebration dance. <laughs> We finished the whoopie pie. He wanted to come over here in front of where the van is parked and play on these rocks for a while. So I put our drinks away. <laughs> you can if you want to, just take little steps. Big log out here. It's been like stuck in that spot like forever. Some lobster boats out in the distance. A little bit of fog hanging off the shore here. Nice geological feature here. And then there's a teddy. down in. What does the seaweed feel like? Seaweed? Yeah? It feels like slime. Yeah, it does feel like slime, huh? Oh, I better move. Daddy's gonna splash me. Another neat line in the rock here. I know it's probably getting a little breezy in the mic. But that just means the weather here is beautiful. Wall has been one of my favorite places here in Acadia even since before I met my husband who grew up here. He, he keeps carrying that rock because he wants to splash me but I had to actually walk near a tide pool so he could splash me. Wow, now you got two rocks. Oh, splash. You're gonna get me. <laughs> oh. I'm zoomed in, really, really zoomed in on this crab. Trying to come up slowly. Another view. So you can try to see all the snails. Some are just empty shells. Some are inhabited. The fun of a tide pool. Or for my boy, you just find rocks to throw in them. The determination. Sometimes it's just fascinating to watch. tide pool I was just showing you and look at the details in this rock the colorings I don't know if that's coming out good on camera but the coloring too just beautiful we walked up and used the restroom then we were walking back down to the van and we came across this area that sparked our interest so we're gonna kind of play here for a while and then slowly work our way back along the rocks around the corner to the van but such a beautiful morning here right now we're taking advantage of it thoroughly yeah go ahead just slow and steady honey you got this oh that's a good splash honey that's a real good splash wow that's a good throw so we were down there where that water comes in after our potty break and now we've been working our way up to here he's having a blast he's like mama i don't want to go yet i'm like that's fine we can keep playing as long as the tide's out when the tide starts coming in we might have to rethink it but i encourage it's good exercise because it's making him use different muscles and different think skills you know mind skills than he normally does just running
while he's climbing and exercise, it's a good time in exercising. It's a good time to mention Teddy and I are actually kicking off as of yesterday. Technically, it doesn't kick off till August 1st, but you can start it a few days early if you want to. Teddy and I are participating in a charity for St. Jude's Hospital where we're going to put in 62 miles over the next month to try to raise $250 all to go to St. Jude's, which is a hospital for children. And I'll be talking more about that in um, daily vlogs here and there. If you're willing to donate, I do keep, keep, I'm going to keep putting up a link on my Facebook business page, as well as my personal profile. And, um, or if you're interested, just, you know, message me on Facebook and I can give you the link. $5 is like the minimum donation. Or even if you see me put up the links, if you're willing to share those links. First time I've ever really done a charity. I'm trying to teach Teddy about charity and what it means to not think about just yourself all the time and to give back. So if you're willing to even just be our cheerleader, share our link, or even donate $5, it would really mean the world to us. But I will keep you informed. Yesterday we did three and a half miles worth of exercise. Today I have a feeling we'll meet that same route. So just wanted to kind of start kicking off the mention of it. And I will, you know, I'm not going to be pushy with it, but I do want to kind of mention it here or there. I feel charity is an important thing in life when you can to be able to give back. And I want to teach Teddy that. You're in the desert now? No, not yet. Are you confused because this is Mount Desert Island? No, it's up ahead. <laughs> oh, it's up ahead? Okay. It's, it's the imaginary game we're playing. We're traveling the world while we do this. It's a game he's making up in his head. And then once in a while, he actually fills me in on what he's actually doing. Sometimes I don't know. I don't know the rules to the game and I get confused. Walking around the outskirts of this tide pool. It is beautiful. Funny though, he's he doesn't have that curiosity yet to like turn over rocks and see what he can find in tide pools. He's all about like these other challenges he's creating in his mind of throwing rocks, skipping rocks, walking to different rocks. All super fun though. And the further we get out here, the more breezy it's gonna get. So I've already gotten a lot of filming here. I think I might put my phone in my pocket, just kind of chase him around for a bit. Teddy found a little mini cave. Anybody hiding in the cave? No. Nope. And there's really cool rock formation here. I know I said I wasn't gonna film anymore, but then I find cool things and I want to have it to reflect on later in life. Oh, now we are moving on. This is super cool. Now we are moving on. We're moving on? Where are we moving on to, sweetheart? So big and brave now. He told me to stay here. He was going to prove to me how far away from me he could go. <laughs> so cute. I love Seawall. You know, this is always called the quiet side because it is. Even here, three quarters of the way through July, this beats trying to be on that loop road like we were yesterday. This is beautiful. Back in Ellsworth, Teddy's lunch choice is governors. He'd like to go visit the governor. Has some governors. He'd like some fries, I bet, huh? So we have the kids menu. I know he wants french fries, so I'm assuming. Hey, they have red hot dogs, Teddy. I want french fries and red hot dogs. Teddy went with the kids meal of a red hot dog with fries. Really excited about that. He has chocolate milk to drink over there. I went with fried clams and I did double coleslaw. Kind of got a shadow from my side here. That coleslaw was delicious. I downed that wicked fast. These rolls are pretty good too. They're nice and they're warm and they're soft inside. The butter's good. Clams are delicious. <laughs> Teddy wanted a kid's sundae with the strawberry ice cream and the strawberry sauce and lots of whipped cream. He's really excited. I don't know where he's gonna put it. He ate pretty much all of his plate of food that you saw. I had a few french fries, but he pretty much downed it all, so. 
fun. I guess I could take my seatbelt off too since we're not moving. What did you think of Governor's sweetheart? Good and bad. <laughs> He's looking in the mirror. Good and bad. What was the bad part of it? Um, I, I didn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's given that answer a lot today. I think it's his new thing. So did you like your hot dog? You must have. It went down the hatch. Did you like your roll? Whoa. All right. I'll give the review. Um, I was actually a little hesitant when he first said to go to Governor's because when we had a visit a year ago at the Waterville location, it was not good. And we had a yeah. visit back in 2019 at the Waterville location. Wasn't good. And Teddy said governors, I thought, oh, I don't know. Well, this was certainly not the Waterville location. Uh, I have found the Waterville location to be dirty, smells like cigarette smoke, just not good food. We had really upset tummies when we left the Waterville location a year ago. This was not the case. We walked in, it was clean, it was presentable, the bathrooms were clean. Uh, super friendly service and the food was what I always loved. I used to be obsessed with governors when I lived in Maine. I mean Mark and I would go to the Bangor one and the Orono one, Old Town one, whichever whichever town it's in, a lot. And I was, oh I like to kiss, thank you. Really, really happy. Sorry my hands kind of holding the phone funny because I knew I'd be getting some hugs and kisses. The food was phenomenal. And it must have been. I mean, Teddy chowed down all of his hot dog, all of his hot dog bun, at least three quarters of his fries, and at least, I'd say, half of his ice cream sundae. And that ice cream sundae was delicious. My fried clams, oh my, oh my. Whole bellied fried clams is not really something you can get in Florida. So that was a must have for me. That was delicious. But realistically, price is not bad. I mean, market value for whole belly fried clams usually does run you quite a bit of money. So the whole entire tab was pretty much probably Maybe three quarters my, <laughs> my fried clams, which was 23 bucks. Mm -hmm. But I will pay it. I will happily pay it. They were good. They weren't greasy. Oh, they weren't gritty. They were delicious. So our whole bill came to $36. So yeah, 23 of that was my fried clams. And then uh, she was friendly. I tipped her pretty good. And I'd go back again, wouldn't you, Teddy? That was, that was delicious food. All right, we're at L.L. Bean, the little uh, outlet store of L.L. Bean here in Ellsworth. So we're going to go in and now walk off some of our lunch, huh?